Look at him, evil man. It was said you people are diabolic and you could do anything as long as it is devilish. And you have. You struck my boss with madness and burnt down his two shops <laughs> just because he challenged you. Now what have you gained, evil man? Okay. My God will punish you for all your evil deeds to this innocent man. Really? Look, look at me properly. I am not afraid of you. You cannot do anything to me. Evil man. My God will punish you beyond human recognition. Rubbish. Um, hold on a minute, young lady. Young lady, listen to me. My name is Donald. Tell your boss. I'm not done with him yet. I'm in Genesis. Everywhere is shaking. When I'm done with him, he will know the difference. Don't forget to tell him that you met Donald. Useless man. <laughs> Hmm. It's very obvious that what is happening to me now is no longer ordinary. Everything around me is now crumbling. I mean, who could be responsible for all the misfortune that I'm passing through? Who? How do I explain to anyone that within one month, just one month, all my investments have collapsed? Yeah? Now my only hope of survival is my, my, my shipment, my consignment, the goods on the high sea. I, I, I even used my house here as a collateral to get loan from the bank to, to, to do that business. Hey God, God are you up there, are you up there and watching all these things happen to me? Eh? Hmm. Even sleep is far from me now. Yes, and Mr. Kelvin. How are you? Your boss was saying something about the phone. Yes, he. I came here to take five minutes. So, what is this one? What's that? Well, I woke up this morning with a very terrible news that the goods we were expecting from the ICU is coming. Of course. What do you mean? Well, the ship had issues and sank. So everything in it is crashed.
very wise from one man. Take it easy on yourself. Only God knows why things are so far this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much. Okay, okay. sit down, sit down. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Uncle, please have a comment. A young man with a heart of gold. So generous. There is no time you go to him for any assistance that he will not help you. This is the young man that has just relocated to this village because everything he has just crashed. The same thing that happened to his Uncle Livinus, who came back here from the city empty handed. I don't think so. When Livinus returned to this village, he claimed that it was his nephew Kevin that sent him home. But knowing the type of person Livinus is, and the, the atrocities that he has committed in this village, I swear his hand must be on what brought this young man. Oh, that is a huge one. But you might be right. Because Livinus is capable of anything. But you see, don't go about saying it to anybody. Because at this stance now, this is but a mere insinuation. Well, <coughs> Let's watch and see. I thought they were calling themselves citizens. Huh? What are they still doing here in the village? <laughs> I told them, I told them, when the wood insects begin to gather firewood on its head, it carries them. <laughs> Welcome back to the village, my dear little nephew. Was I supposed to be the only one returning to the village empty hand? Father, who art in heaven, 
Hallo, bitte. Like in Anka. Hallo, bitte. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Our Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Let us have our monument and the death of your foot of heaven, Jesus. So good to have you here. So nice. I really appreciate it. This is a very good boy. You people in the city know very good men. You see, I have never tasted this type of wine before. It's good. That's why I went into my selected this one, especially for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's sweet. Uh, Kidding myself. I have come to discuss something very important with you. You see, your late father used to be my very friend. I'm one of the people in this land. He had so much confidence in me. And that's why I always feel concerned about you. Now, to a certain village, you have to find things that will sustain you and your family. That's not a good feeling, criminal. You're right, Chief. I'm not even to search you. You are one of you. Very few people who actually talk to my family. My father is quite close to my father before. Um, I've been thinking of it. I've been thinking of what I can do to sustain my family. Things. Well, our people are nice. And we are in for it. You and your wife should consider family. You can be sure that what to eat will never lack in your house. Good thing! Your family has a lot of farm lands in this community. And your uncle Livinus is in charge of this hotel. You will have to approach him to release some of your father's lands in his possession to you so that you can come home. Thank you very much. Uh, Good. Hey. You need to be very careful with that uncle of yours. I'm sure that you must have heard what he is doing. In fact, I find it difficult. But like you said, I'll be very good. Okay. Thank you very much. This is for you. Okay, thank you. Real uh, people in the city. No, sweet, sweet thing. It's my sweet. Oh, you are welcome, my nephew. <laughs> to what do I owe this visit? Well, Uncle, um, from the look of things, it's obvious that we are back to the village for good. We have come back to stay. So, I've been thinking of what my wife and I can do. Make it a 
I came up with fun. Mm. So I decided to come see, come to you, see if you can release some of uh, Papa's land in uh, your possession, so I can start from there. That was very good. <laughs> That's a nice one. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, I have been thinking in that line with you. It is good. It is good. In fact, farming is the one thing that has been sustaining a lot of families in this community. Hmm? I will give you land to farm as you requested. But you have to wait. Um, you know, some of the farmlands I've given out. You see, when I came back to the village, things were very, very hard. So I depended on these farmlands to survive. Mm -hmm. So I leased them out. Um, but I will get some of the lands back from the people I leased them to for your sake. Okay. All right, all right. No problem. No problem. You'll get it. Uh, all right. Uh, send me word to your wife and your daughter. Hmm? Uh -huh. yes. If you need anything, just call back on me. Huh? Yes. Thank you. I made mean, this boy is joking. Mm -hmm. So he came back to this village to drive the family farmland with me. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> when the wood insects gather firewood, on its head it carries it. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm 
you know, I think you want to be good, it's too much, you pay, pay not over my body, I swear to you. Mm. I don't understand. Well, you were okay yesterday night. Mm. Huh? I don't know, the pain is too much, good. What is all this now? What's wrong with him? He woke up this morning with a strange illness. Oh, but I am talking to you now. He is dying. My husband is dying. Strange illness? Yeah. How come? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, where, where are you running to now? I want to get to the chemist to see if I can get some drugs for him. Ah. Yeah. Well, all right, so what's wrong, right? I, I, I'll come and, I'll come and see you later. Where the wood is sick, you cannot fire wood. On its head, it carries them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
try. Be courageous and strong. Take care, my daughter. Cause of our land. Do not let anything happen to this young man. He is the kind of son the community needs. If we have four of his kind in this, this land, my husband is dying. I mean, he's not getting any better. Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying. Why you make me cry too? Huh? Look, nothing is going to happen to your husband, my nephew. Huh? The gods of our land will not allow anything to happen to him. Alright? He will not die. Amen. He will not die. Huh? Amen. Stop crying. Let me go inside and get food for you. I came to get food.
Son, yes, but let him go and leave us alone. Let's not digress from the purpose of this meeting into something unnecessary. My late friend's wife and daughter stay here, so I can't just leave like that. How dare you talk when I'm talking? Huh? You think this is the city where you can talk and do anyhow? Maybe no. He has committed no offense being here with us. Ah, you don't know, you don't know. In fact, they are the people who sent me back to the village from the city. Says who? Says I! I say so. Yes. But don't worry. I will deal with you. I will deal with you. When the wood insects gathers for your wood, on its head, it carries them. Please, let's not forget the reason for this meeting. Uncle, if you know he definitely don't know what he's saying. What? What do you say? You say I don't know what I'm saying? They don't have fire your mouth, burn your mouth 25 times! It is your father who doesn't know what you're saying! Just imagine! Sit down, sit down. It's okay. Leave him. We don't need all this now. We have come here for a purpose. Huh? All this quarreling and wrangling will help us. Uh, uh, please, 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 my elders. Uh, Uncle Levinus, please, no matter what, let us sit our sword for the sake of peace. Let us not digress from the purpose of this meeting. All these insults, shouting and all that will not lead us anywhere. Huh? And let me sound this note of warning. We are all Christians. Let us be mindful of what we say. So we will not bring the wrath of God upon ourselves. Very important. I have only one appeal to make here. That my friend's wife and daughter goes back to the city. Huh? This village is no more safe for them. What an abomination! Have you ever heard that a woman whose husband has just been committed to Mother Earth just goes back to the city barely four days after? Elders, are you listening to this idiot? Eh? Are you listening to this non-entity? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> My son. 
We appreciate your love and concern for your late friend's family. But you see, we have a culture and tradition. Laura here will have to stay for at least one year to mourn her late husband before she can leave this, this village. Or maybe in six months each year. But not immediately as we are suggesting, my son. Hmm? Don't mind this criminal. Oh, so that is your plan, eh? You have a plan. So you killed you killed my nephew so that you can inherit the wife. Jesus! Huh? Uncle! Is that your plan? Can listen to this person? That's what you're planning, eh? Eh? You idiot! You imbecile! Uncle, please. Please. Hey. How do you have work? Hey. Thank God we have a fair weather today. Yeah. Hey. It's unfortunate that things turned out this way. Heaven knows that if I have my way, Laura and Jesse will not stay in this village. This place isn't safe anymore. Look at what they did to Kevin. Oh, Steve is okay. Jesse and Laura will be fine. You remember what the elders said? Maybe after her money period, she may return to the city, as you suggested. But thank you very much for being there for them. They are good friend indeed. May the good Lord bless you upon them. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. You're a good friend. Amen. Steve, God bless you. We are very grateful. I mean, you are a friend indeed. God bless you. Uncle, yeah? oh, I'll miss you. I hope you come back soon. Sure, sure, I will. You and your mother are a part of it. Especially now that your father is no more. Father. Lord, please take her inside. Let me see him off. Huh? Thank you very much. Eh? Uh -uh.
by tomorrow morning now. We'll find out who that person is. And what he came to this compound to do. But for now we'll have to go to bed. It's already late. I'll stop now. Just six months after mourning her husband, she joins him. Does it look ordinary? Eh? Okay, look at that young man called Stephen. See how he died in an accident because The whole world knows that living is a very bad and dangerous man. We also know all the people have skin in this life since he But it's it. To link him up to the death of his nephew and the wife is the one I don't know about. I don't know about that one. Well, all I know is that the evil that men do lives with them. For every evil that Lizin has committed in this village, he must live to pay for it and suffer. I'm going. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good afternoon. Yeah, yeah. What is going on here? Where are you taking your niece to? Oh. Isn't it obvious that evil looms everywhere around us? Before my very eyes, my only brother, Calvin, died mysteriously. On the day his wife completed her six months of money period, she died. Who did we offend? Please, before it becomes another case of I am sorry, let me take my place here. Punish. Come, and you didn't even bother to tell me about it. Huh? Or at least seek my consent as the eldest of the family. Huh? Desmond has outsmarted me by taking this little girl away. I have a task I must accomplish or I will never be happy. What do I do? Since she has been taken away, what are now my chances? This mission must be accomplished. And the old man, mom. I don't know, I don't know, I saw it. The little girl has been taken away by the uncle. Yes, yes. We have to do something fast. Huh? You know, my target is to wipe away the entire Kelvin's family. Huh? Uh, and now the, the small girl is, is, has been taken away. I, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't be worried. Don't be worried. You won't get a has solution to everything. Are you doubting me? You don't know. Of course not. Huh? Are you not the one who made me the strong and mighty man that I am in this community? I am. I am. Giving me the ultimate power to destroy anybody who stands on my way. I am. I am. Marketing. Marketing. You are the, the youngest, the strongest, and the biggest, and the wisest chief priest in all this area and beyond. I'm <laughs> 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 
Ke wo re ike ike na oku so na fi ko se je an ma fi ko se je an ma fi ko se bia ya ro ya ro ya ro o bia ne ko se je ne ko se je o bia o bia Since I came back from the city, I came back with anger in my heart. I wanted my pound of flesh on my nephew Kelvin. Because I thought he was the one who told his friends to chuck me out of my shop. Abomination. I was filled with vengeance. Vengeance? It was in my heart. It was that vengeance that led me to the shrine of that young blessing. Levinus, the great son of Chilaka. I saw that you returned from the city empty handed and sad. Your heart is bitter and you seek vengeance. Yes, the great and the youngest seer of our land. Oh, gosh, you mean? I want to deal with that boy called Kelvin. Hiding behind his friends to send me out of my shop. Hmm. As I speak with you now, some of my things are still outside the shop. Being beaten by the rain and by the sun. <sighs> I want that boy to crash down. I say crash down and return to this village empty-handed like me. And when he returns, I want to wipe his entire family out. Starting from him, his wife, and his daughter. <laughs> Vengeance, you seek. Vengeance, you shall get. But bear it in mind that when the wound is set, gathers the fire wound on its head, it carries it. Hmm. 
That was how marketing gave me the ultimate power. He gave me the ultimate power to be strong and eliminate anybody who stands on my way. So I killed Jimmy. Hey! I killed Hey! I killed Emeka and I killed Alozi and his wife. Hey! I killed so many. Hey! How can you deserve to die? Because at one point or the other, they all stood on my way. Hey! On your job! To kill them. My best task was to kill my nephew Kevin and hey. his family. Jesus. My dad is Mondo, no, no, no. I am one. I am one. I am one. I am one. The one that broke the camel's back was when we set fire to kill and destroy Kelvin's daughter. Jesse. 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 Kelvin's daughter. Oh, Jesse. Ah! But we did what? not know that Jesse was a covenant child mm -hmm. that nobody could ever destroy. We set fire. We set fire to kill her. The fire that we sent bounced back. The <laughs> fire came. It bounced back and yes. killed. Mm. And destroyed his shrine. It was that same fire that kept pursuing me, pursued me to this point to confess to you. Forgiveness. I could live with this. I can't believe he did all this. It's hard to believe that he did all this. Hey, now tell me. What did you gain from all this and trust Joy, this now? Nothing. What did you gain? Answer. God. Oh, God. I said, what shall he profit in? To gain this whole world and lose his soul. Oh, wow. Nothing. May God forgive your soul. <laughs> May God forgive your soul. Ah, oh, Father, this man, Mba, Onake, Onanka. Listen, ah. listen, listen. Forgiveness has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, one. nothing. One. You must not. But live to suffer for your evil deeds. Why are you? 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 Why are even if we forgive you, the gods will not forgive you. Yes. Yes. My elders, my people, vengeance is of the Lord. Vengeance. 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 Vengeance.
Do you see how you have ended up better dead than alive? Even death has run away from you because you are a disgrace to human race. We are only here to see if you are dead so that we can arrange the youth to cast your useless corpse to the evil forest where wild animals like you belong. So that vultures and other things we did on your flesh. Shame on you. How I wish other evil men in the world are watching this and learning from it. Because this is a very deserved punishment for all evil dwell. <coughs> evil men do live with them. <coughs> Let's go! Uncle Olivius Livio, Uncle Oh, 